Hello everyone, welcome to this course on ANSYS CFX. This is an introductory course on CFD modeling using ANSYS CFX. This course will introduce you to the basics of CFD modeling, how to generate mesh using ANSYS ICM CFD and how to conduct simulations using ANSYS CFX. This is the first lecture among a series of lectures dedicated to learning ANSYS CFX. In this particular course, we will study ANSYS CFX graphic user interface and workflow in order to conduct simulation within ANSYS CFX. Before we begin the lecture, we will have an overview of the content of this particular lecture. First, we will see the entire CFD process in detail. What are the steps involved in CFD? Then we will have an introduction to ANSYS CFX. We will see what are the different file formats available while we use ANSYS CFX. We will see how to launch ANSYS CFX. Then we will see in detail the graphic user interface of ANSYS CFX Pre. We will see what is ANSYS CFX Solve. And then we will see CFX Post. We will end this particular lecture with a summary. So let us see the CFD process in detail. Whenever we decide to conduct CFD analysis either using a commercial software or using our own uh, developed code, the methodology or the steps involved are mostly similar. First we start with geometry, then we do meshing of that particular geometry. Geometry is always the domain which we are going to consider for CFD modeling. So that particular geometry comes from CAD software or CAD uh, generated geometry. Then we do meshing of that particular geometry that is divide the entire geometry into small number of grids or cells. After that we define physics of that problem at various locations of that particular geometry or domain. And then we solve that particular problem in some, C, uh, in some CFD solver. In this particular case, it's, it is ANSYS CFX. And then we analyze the results that we obtain from solver. Any CFD problem that you do or any CFD simulation that you do, it will basically involve all these five steps. We start with geometry, mesh, then we mesh, then we define the problem in terms of physics, then we solve the numerical uh, problem and then we analyze the results. Mostly the geometry that is coming in is coming from a CAD software or a CFD preprocessor. And then we import this particular geometry into a meshing software. We will see here how we conduct meshing when we use ANSYS CFX. So the uh, first step whenever we start a CFD analysis is meshing. So what we do is first we create or import the geometry. Uh, mostly we, uh, uh, we use geometries that are generated in CAD software like Ketia or Proe. Domain in which the governing equations are to be solved is, is extracted. So we extract the domain from this particular uh, CAD geometry. For an example, we do not need uh, details like bowls and fillets and etc. So out of that CAD geometry, if you are going to solve internal flow or external flow, depending upon that uh, and what type of physics you are going to handle, we extract the appropriate part or appropriate domain or volume. Then mesh is generated in that particular domain or volume as shown here, an example of mesh that is generated. Process of uh, generating finite volumes or elements or dividing that particular geometry or domain or volume into grids is called as mesh generation. Mesh can be generated in different sessions or imported from another meshing utilities also. Uh, as we already studied, we generate the mesh in ANSYS ICM CFT. And the next step is to uh, define the physics of the problem and we do that particular problem definition in CFX Pre. So we specify the problem in CFX Pre. As you can see, this is a particular GUI of CF CFX Pre and this is used just to define your CFX, uh, your CFD problem. That is to define the boundary conditions, to define the physics involved and to, and to define the entire problem definition. And in CFX Free, you do not solve the problem, you just define the problem. So we define different physical models, material properties and boundary conditions in CFX Pre. Next step is to use CFX Solver in order to solve, in order to numerically solve and obtain the solution of the problem. So we solve the governing equations in CFX Solver, flow equations. As you can see, what we see is just the solution that is progressing in CFX Solver. CFX Solver is not used for defining the problem or seeing the results. It is just a numerical solver. We use iterate, iterative solution procedure to solve the governing equations and we obtain the conversions in CFX Solver. The last step is to analyze the CFX, CFD results and that we do in CFX Post or CFD Post. It is used for post-processing only. 
and different results can be or different data and results can be extracted from CFD post. We analyze and visualize the results in CFD post.